Hello and welcome to Minor Talks about a bonus within Age of Empires 2, the Conquest. And this one is about skirmishers and delete skirmishers and their attack bonus against archers. Now the archers I'll be talking about will be just archers, crossbowmen and arbalests, which I'll label as foot archers. And then also cavalry archers and heavy cavalry archers. So normal skirmishers, they normally do two attack, which is hardly anything at all. But against archers, crossbowmen, arbalests, cavalry archers and heavy cavalry archers, they do an extra three attack as bonus. So that's five attack altogether. Elite skirmishers normally do three attack. But against archers, crossbowmen and arbalests, they do an extra four attack as bonus. But against cavalry archers and heavy cavalry archers, they do an extra six attack as bonus. So this is seven in total for the foot archers and nine for the cavalry archers. But I notice it wasn't always those exact values. It wasn't five for the skirmishers and seven and nine for the elite skirmishers. You seem to get an extra two attack if the enemy are moving. So ballistics and thumbering would allow for that two attack to be much more likely. And this is quite useful, especially if you have more range than the enemy. As they are coming towards you, you can get an extra attack on them, an extra hit, plus an extra two attack, because they are moving. However, upgrades for attack and armour don't contribute towards the bonus. They don't contribute in an exponential way. So for example, if I had two attack extra from the blacksmith, that doesn't add an extra one attack to the bonus, for example. The other thing that also makes skirmishes so good against archers is they have a lot of pierce armour. So in a one-on-one -on -one situation, a skirmisher will defeat an archer and crossbowman that have the same upgrades. It however won't kill an arbalest unless you attack it at least once before the arbalest attacks you. And a skirmisher won't defeat a cavalry archer or a heavy cavalry archer. However, if a skirmisher has one more attack slash armour than the arbalest and cavalry archer, it should kill it. With heavy cavalry archers, you'll need to have at least two more attack slash armour to kill it off. This is the case for the Turks civilization, as they're the only civilization not to get elite skirmishers. For the other 17 civilizations that can get elite skirmishers, all this attack will work slightly in your favour. If you are lacking behind in one attack slash armour than the enemy, then the elite skirmishers will defeat all foot archers and cavalry archers. They may only just about win against heavy cavalry archers though, and it depends on who fires first and whether the arrows are accurate. If however the enemy has bloodlines, the cavalry archers and heavy cavalry archers will have 70 HP and 80 HP respectively. So they won't quite be defeated, so you need just a bit more attack slash armour to defeat them. So just as a general guideline, one fully upgraded elite skirmisher is required to take out a fully upgraded arbalest, and two fully upgraded elite skirmishers are required to take out a fully upgraded heavy cavalry archer. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch and listen to this. I'll see you in the next part, which shall be about rams. Bye.